The secret with chipping these out is that you've got to be very patient and do it very slowly, simply because although this looks fairly straight timber, there's quite a lot of movement in the grain and the grain runs all over the place. If you try chopping it in one place and taking it straight out, you'll probably end up with a big lump taken out of it. So you've got to be very careful, do it a little bit at a time, nice and slowly, and take it out. And that grain was all over the place. But we've got that out nice and clean, and that hinge should fit in there really well. Right, I've just been working on secondary layers on all the uh, window sills and bottoms and stuff. They're looking whiter. <laughs> um, the wood, I'm going to have to paint the wardrobe doors because they are actually, not only have we got, you know, we've got these wood bits which look a bit funny, but also um, the wardrobe doors are a slightly different shade to their surrounds, which might not bug some people, but it bugs me. And so, yeah, wardrobe doors are going to be painted too. So I had to get a bit more paint in because, <laughs> yeah, we didn't quite have enough paint to do the job, so. Okay, done a couple of layers of paint now all around the windows. I've repainted the wardrobe doors. This is Louis the grasshopper. I literally just named him now, but he, he's actually been in and out. He's been helping me quite a lot with this. Uh, luckily he hasn't jumped on any freshly wet paint, so he hasn't actually got stuck on anything, but you know, good at the helper. <laughs> so yeah, I've done the wardrobe doors around, so I've done one layer of white paint inside the wardrobe. I still need to do another layer. That will be the wardrobe done. But I just have to let you in on something because this is so satisfying. Taking this stuff off, along with the dead flies that get on it, gross. Look at this, how satisfying is that? Oh yeah. 